hello friends welcome to this new video so in this video we are going to learn how to use card visual for different purposes okay so we have five or uh, four to five tricks here in this video we are going to discuss how to use card visuals in different situation so the first one is stylized card okay so this one is normal card okay this one is normal card and this one is the stylized card so basically this card visual looks good why there is a good background there is good font there is good font color right there is a border provided and shadow is also there so i'll tell you how to do this later on the next trick with the help of card visual is conditionally formatted card okay so conditionally formatted card means it depends on call out value right let's say the number is greater than 50 if it is greater than 50 the background color is green now if it is in between 50 and 0 right let's say i'll select this one so background color will change to yellow and if it is less than 0 then background color will change to red okay so this is called as conditionally formatted card visual okay so i'll tell you how to do this then the third one is left line card right so we know when normally when we add card visual to our dashboard or we can say report the call out values and category label is always at center so how to align it towards left okay this is a trick here i'll tell you how to do this as well, this as well in this video and the next one is this one okay so this is a very special tool here which we are going to learn in this video so now this is the card visual in which profit percentage is shown which is 54.2 right but how to create donut chart in this card visual okay there is a trick here see i have provided two buttons if i click on this one so the card visual will change get changed to donut chart if i click on this one information button then only number will get shown so how to do this let's discuss one by one okay so first stylized card okay so let's see how to do this okay so uh, let's see how to create stylized card okay so first what we will do we will just take normal card visual so this is the normal card visual so in which we are going to show profit percentage okay so this is the normal card now we have to format it so how to format it so basically we have to go to format your visual go to general so the first thing is uh, we have to decide the background color so give good background color so let's say we are giving this one okay now the next thing is we have to enable or disable the visual border so we will enable the visual border here the border color will be black and rounded corner less rounded corner let's say it should be around 20 so instead of 19 i'll put 20 shadow i'll enable and shadow color i'll take same okay now the next thing is the number which is shown here 54.2 this number is called as call out value so we have to format this call out value i'll make it bold i'll select good font arial black i'll select and i'll select uh, white color as a text color so that the number will be clearly visible and it is contrasting with our background okay and now uh, we have to format category label so category label also i'll make it bold i'll select arial black as a format okay and color i'll select again somewhat gray grayish color okay so that the category label will be clearly visible now see our visual is formatted okay but shadow is not visible clearly so what i'll do i'll again select the card visual go to general go to effect in shadow i'll select black color as a shadow so that the shadow will be also clearly visible now this is looking good so this kind of card visual are called a stylized card okay the next thing is which we are going to learn is conditionally formatted card okay so what i'll do i'll just copy this card from here to this page right now we will provide some condition based on the numbers okay so if it is greater than 50 percent then it should be and the background should be green in color if it is in between 0 and 50 percentage then the background color should be yellow and if it is less than 0 then background color should be red okay so how to apply this condition so basically you have to select the visual go to format your visual then go to general in effect under background there are two things 
either you can directly select the color or you can provide the color based on some function so let's click on this one now in this function format style there are three options gradient rules and field value okay so gradient means you can decide the color based on minimum value and maximum value so today we are going to use rules so we are applying this rule to profit percentage if the value is less than zero then Okay, let's say if the value is less than zero, then the color should be red. Okay, then we will add new rule. If the value is greater than zero, but less than 50%, then the color should be yellow. I'll add one more rule. If the value is greater than 50% and less than 100%, then the color should be green. So I'll take green color from here done okay i'll click on okay so now see now the current value is 54.2 it is greater than 50 so that's why the background color is green but if i selected the value less than 50 the background color will automatically change and now the background color is yellow right and if i selected a value which is less than zero then background color will be red so based on the values based on the call out values the background color will automatically change so this type of formatting is called as conditionally formatting and as this is a card visual so this is called as conditionally formatted card visual now the next thing is see always when we add card visual the call out values and category labels are at center but we want to align category labels and that call out values towards left or let's say towards right so how to do that okay so basically we cannot do in that particular thing in card visual so what we are going to do we will use this multi row card as a card visual okay so when we add profit percentage to it the value call out values always align towards left okay so we'll just format this so basically for formatting this what you have to do go to format your visual call out value increase the size let's say put 25 make it bold choose Arial black again you can increase the size a bit okay then category label also again make it bold and black okay then go to effect background select background color i'll select this one and uh, visual border i'll enable I'll put near about 50 i'll enable the shadow as well okay so see now the call out value and category label are aligned towards left so this is how you can align your call out values or towards left if you are selecting card visual it will be at center and you can align towards right as well now the last thing in our today's video is this one how to create this kind of chart okay so if you are showing a card visual so you with how we can show donut chart inside that particular card visual so let's see in this video so for that basically what we will do we'll just copy this card visual okay so this is card visual right now i'll increase the size little bit okay so now based on these buttons we have to show donut chart inside this okay so what i'll do i'll just copy it again i'll paste it here okay so instead of card visual i'll select donut chart okay and instead of profit percent what i'll do i'll show total profit and total cost as a percentage inside this okay now the next thing which we are going to do is i'll format this one go to format your visual go to legend or uh, sorry go to general go to effect background color you can select like this one okay then the next thing which we are oh, okay background color i'll change i'll select this one then data label values will be bold and this will be black legend text will be bold this will be black
and heading will be bold and align it at center okay so size of this card and this chart should be same now what I'll do I'll just drag this one on the card visual now what I'll do I'll use this two button to toggle the data okay so uh, for this we are going to use bookmark okay so I'll tell you how to do this okay so go to view select bookmark and selection plane from here so I have already selected okay so you will get two things here selection and bookmark okay so this view we want when donut is enabled okay so I'll add one bookmark I'll rename this bookmark donut enabled okay then the next thing if I disable this one okay so I want this view when donut is disabled so I'll again add one more bookmark I'll rename it donut is disabled okay I have added this now what I will do I will assign actions to this button okay so we know as these are buttons so what I will do I will just select the first one okay so this button will be when donut is disabled so what you have to do go to action enable the action under action under type there are multiple options so you have to select bookmark from there and bookmark will be donut disabled okay now for the second button under action type will be again bookmark and bookmark will be donut enabled okay now see if you click on this sec, uh, first button then it will show the donut chart if you click on this one it will again show the card visual so in this way you can use this feature in your report or you, uh, you in your dashboard okay so I hope you have liked this visual okay so now the next thing which we are going to learn is how to align this okay so let's say we have multiple card okay uh, let's say we have multiple cards like this one so the shape and size I'll just copy this one two three times okay the size and all is different okay so how to align this so what we will do I'll select all the card visual at once okay go to this one format your visual go to general go to properties so size you can decide height 120 and width you can decide as 200 okay now the next thing will be just select it okay for aligning it in a better vertical way go to format okay select align and click on distribute vertically so the space between two card visual will be uniform so this is how you have to align the card visual in your report okay so I hope you got this trick so based um, by using this bookmark you can show any chart inside the card visual so thank you for joining in this video please like share and subscribe this channel thank you